Hey everybody, the Blackwater Bandits are back. I'm Special Agent 9, and today we're going to talk about the spoils of war. This is a PvP event. You can currently find it in Showdown series, regular size, not large. And it was a featured series, so we believe it will be a featured series again. Now the point of Spoils of War is basically capture the flag, only in this case the number of flags is apparently unlimited. You have a home base determined by either orange or purple. Your base is either going to be orange or purple depending on the color that you are. And then your enemy also has a base. You can see it on the screen here, uh, the purple smoke that Dude Rizzo was looking at. The goal is to get to that home base of your enemy team and steal a bag and bring it back to your base which will be your color smoke this is the fort mercer map this is one of the worst maps in spoils of war most of the maps are much more open than this this is the only one where you're inside a fort or a structure as you are here and this is a very difficult map however spoils of war is very good money and it can be a lot of fun especially if you have a crew with you and people that you can talk to and strategize with Ideally, on every map of Spoils of War, you want defenders and you want runners. People who are going to run and go get the items from the enemy camp. As you can see here, Dude Rizza is being a defender. And he's doing it very, very well. He is close to the orange area that enemies would need to steal our bags from if we're on the orange team. And so Dude Rizza is in a high location where he can look down on enemies. He has a good position. And as you can see, he is killing everybody who comes near the area where the bags are being protected. Meanwhile, other people on the team are attempting to get to the purple base and steal their bags and bring them back here to the orange smoke where Dude Rizza is at. And that basically is the objective of Spoils of War. It's very, very straightforward. It's very simple. And it, it shouldn't be too difficult to get your team organized and get them together on a strategy that's going to work so that you can win this and make some good money. Let's go ahead and take a look at another map. This is one that you'll see quite frequently. You're down near the swamp area, Braithwaite Manor area, and there's this big house here. And the objective here is the same. It's always the same. You want to get all the way across the field to the enemy camp in order to steal their bag and bring it back here to your home base. This time we are the purple team with Boom Baby 8. And we're going to show you how to run a bag. As you can see, he is approaching the enemy camp. He's shooting any enemies that come near him. He's grabbed the bag and he is returning it back to his base where the purple smoke is. And it's just that simple to score some points and hopefully win the entire match by running enemy bags back to your base. There is one ability card in particular that can very much help you in Spoils of War. It's useful other places, but it, it really is very useful here. That is the Slippery Bastard card. It's one of your Deadeye abilities, and the Slippery Bastard enables you to, when you have your Deadeye activated, people cannot log on to you. They cannot target on to you. And we're going to show you what happens when you have that card equipped and you use it to run bags um, against the enemy team. Alright, Boom has gone through the house and you're going to see him activate his dead out here. You can see how his blurry, he's blurry like that because that means nobody can auto lock onto him and shoot him right now. So he has run to get the bag. By the way, a lot of this video is sped up. This portion of it is not. This is all playing out in real time. This is exactly as fast as it happened in the match. Boom's dead eye lasted almost until he was to the base. He's more than halfway to his home base. He's got the bag, and he's going to score points for his team by being a slippery bastard. Because that card works. Of course, there is a drawback to this ability card, as there are drawbacks to most things. 
every time you run a bag using your slippery bastard you will completely deplete all of your dead eye so you will need to drink snake oil or take other tonics in order to replenish that as you saw boom doing there so you want to make sure that you have plenty of that stuff with you before you queue up for showdown series or for the featured series if spoils of war is being featured just to make sure that you have all the supplies you're going to need to get through the match Now let's take a look at the same map with Dude Rizza. Having the Slippery Bastard ability card obviously will give you an edge. However, you do not have to have this in order to run bags. Anyone can, can go to the enemy base and steal a bag. Just make sure you kill all the enemies who are guarding it, as Dude is doing here. Grab the bag and then just run right back to your base. And even if you don't have Deadeye activated, even if you can't be locked onto, as long as the enemies are dead, you can still run a bag just as successfully as anyone else. This is another one of the maps you'll see all the time. It's out near the old Civil War battleground, so there's a lot of broken junk in the field and these little stone walls everywhere, a lot of places to take cover. This map can be very difficult too. So just keep your wits about you. Shoot enemies as you see them. Take cover as needed. And know what your role is. Know whether or not you're supposed to be a runner or a defender. And what you're good at. If you're great at defending but you're not very good at running to get the bags. Then be a defender unless it's absolutely necessary for you to attempt to run to get bags. As I said, if you strategize with your crew and everybody knows what their assigned roles are, then you should be very, very successful at Spoils of War. And it can be a lot of fun. As you can see, the Blackwater Bandits are very well organized, and at this point, we are just having our way with the other team. A lot of times, these groups are populated by a bunch of random people who are not communicating with each other. So if you can get together with even one other buddy, a couple of other buddies, get in a party together, and, and the ability to communicate is invaluable. You'll, you'll be able to win more often than not just because you can communicate with each other and you're organized. Meanwhile, the other team's going to be running around watching you run bags all day and they're not going to know what hit them. So now let's take a look at the other side of the field with Dude Rizza and do some defense because defense is just as important as offense. It doesn't matter how many bags your team runs if the other team is running bags against you. So strong defense is absolutely essential if you want to win this. As you can see, Dude has a very good location. He is able to take cover and he cannot be seen easily by the enemy, but he can also pop out when needed and kill enemies. He is staying close to the bags that he's guarding so that he can prevent any enemies from getting near them. And he is very successfully defending his base against all the enemies who would steal bags. And by the way, 
It doesn't matter how many deliveries you get, that doesn't affect your money. Winning and losing is what affects your money. Everybody on the team makes the same amount of money whether they've run zero bags or ten. So being a defender is not going to affect the amount of money and gold that you make whatsoever. This is the last and final Spoils of War map you will see. It is an orchard, so there's lots of places to take cover, and it can be very difficult to see enemies as they approach because of all the trees. This is one you have to really be sharp on and keep your wits about you and pay attention at all times to what the enemy is doing because they can sneak up on you very, very easily using the trees and all these little crates and things. Use all your normal PvP strategies in order to kill enemies. Aim for headshots. Turn on your Deadeye when it's going to help you. Dive away when need be. And stay organized. Keep communicating with your team. And you should be able to do very, very well at Spoils of War. Thanks for watching our video. We hope it will help you win many, many battles. Please subscribe to our channel to get lots more tutorials and see lots more cool stuff. We are the Blackwater Bandits.